Bivy is an extremely simple device that is comparable to an Iridium Go, but the Bivy is half the price. If you need voice, however, Iridium Go is our second smallest satellite device with voice and all the same features as the Bivy. You do need a smartphone to be able to utilize a lot of the features on the stick. However, it will still work independently to send messages and tracking information. Basic features allow you to send and receive text messages off the grid. You can track your trips, navigate to waypoints, get weather information, share your location, and send an SOS if you get in trouble. This device works from anywhere on the globe so long as you have clear line of sight to the sky. The Bivy stick itself is a very simple device. It only has three buttons, a power button, a check-in button, and an SOS button. Pressing the power button quickly will tell you how much battery life there is. Green is 50 to 100%, yellow is 20 to 50%, and red is 0 to 20%. The signal light will display green when it is strong, yellow when it is medium to weak, and red if it is weak or no signal. On the bottom, you have a port for power, which is a USB-C, and the SOS button. To charge the unit, plug it in at the bottom of the device. Once it is fully charged, it has up to 120 hours on one charge. The first thing you will need to do is download the Bivy app. Open the Bivy app and create an account. Anyone can create an account and accounts are free. You don't need to have a Bivy stick to use the app and if you want to track your friends or family, they will need to download the app in order to do that. Now, you will need to connect your Bivy. To do this, turn the power on by holding down the power button. In the app, click on the Bivy stick button at the bottom. Then below the share location, you'll see to the right, it says connect. Click on that. Now follow the prompts. Now that your Bivy is connected, let's explore the app. The first thing that you need to know is that the app has a built-in user guide. In the right top corner, click on settings. Under Bivy stick settings, you'll see three down, it says Bivy stick user guide. Click on this to see the user guide. To send a text message, go to the bottom menu of the app and click on Messages. At the top right corner, click on the icon with a pen in it. Type in the number you would like to text or email and you can also send this to satellite phones and international numbers. Write your message and hit the blue arrow at the bottom to send a message. Your device will need a clear line of sight to the sky in order to work. To set up the SOS feature, go to Settings and click on Bivy Stick Account. Then click on Update SOS Information. Fill out this form. This can only be done if your phone has service or Wi-Fi. Once it is set up, it will work anywhere the Bivy Stick is active. If possible, send the SOS through your phone so that you can respond to messages and state the nature of your emergency. To use the check-in button on the side, you will need to set up the recipients. This will have a pre-programmed message and your location. You can add up to five recipients. At the bottom of the app, click on the stick. At the top, add your contacts, then type your message you want to go out every time you send a check-in. Now when you press the check-in button on the side of the device, it will send to your recipients. You can also send through your app with the check in now button. If you just want to share your GPS coordinates, you click on the share my location button in the app. If you want to check weather, go to the Bivy stick button. Click on the weather and this will give you basic weather information for your current location. This works either through cellular or the Bivy when you are off the grid. Lastly, let's go over tracking, waypoints and map features. Click on the map button. To set a waypoint, which may just be a location you were at and want to get back to at some point or as a point you want to set on the map to reach in the future, click the flag in the bottom left corner. Select on the map where you want the waypoint, name the waypoint, and save. Tracking is only available by using the Bivy app. To track your trip, simply go into map at the bottom and click on track. Follow the prompts. You can share tracking with your friends, everyone, or no one. Once you are done with tracking, click the pause button to end track and you can either delete or save it. You also may have to go into your settings on your device and make sure that you click on always allow Bivy to track. To save maps on your phone before going off the grid, go to the home screen. Click on offline maps. Click download new map. 
Select the area which you would like to save by moving around the map and scrolling in and out with your fingers. Then click download. You can download multiple maps for offline use and they will be saved in your offline maps tab. You can delete these maps and add new ones as you please. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments with questions and visit sat619.com to get your bivy today.